Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today we're going to take a look at ZK Sync, which is a second layer of Ethereum. But before we begin, remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and join our Telegram group, to which link you'll find in the description. And now let's start. So why am I going to show you ZK Sync today? Because ZK Sync doesn't have a token yet. And as you are probably aware of many protocols without token, usually do airdrops. Look at the Paraswap uh, that was just airdrop recently and the airdrop value ranges from uh, 7,000 up to even 20, 30 or 50,000 dollars depend on the users. Uh, there was uh, ENS airdrop recently. Some users got few thousand dollars worth of airdrop. Some users earned few hundred thousand dollars from this airdrop. So with ZK Sync, they already said that token will be distributed fairly to the community. So the future token will be distributed fairly to the community. What does it mean? I think it's a high chance that they are going to airdrop it to early contributors, early users, early testers of their protocol. That's just my guess. It may happen, it may not happen. We will see. But I would encourage you to try out ZK Sync while you can. So that being said, let's start. First of all, go to zksync.io website. Once you get here, make sure that you are connected to your MetaMask account. Make sure that you are on Ethereum mainnet. Once you do this, you can click on the Ethereum wallet uh, icon on the center of the screen and connect your MetaMask. Once you connect your MetaMask, you will see a screen like this. Over here, you should see the balances on your layer 2 on your wallet. So as you can see, I don't have anything on my layer 2 at the moment. So I don't see any cryptos over here. And now to send crypto from layer 1 from Ethereum mainnet to layer 2, which is ZK Sync, you need to click add funds. And then over here, you need to type the amount and choose the token. So I'm going to click over here. As you can see, I only have Ethereum to be chosen. So I'm going to choose Ethereum. And then over here, I'm going to type the amount I would like to send from layer one, which is uh, Ethereum mainnet to layer two. Once you type in the amount and choose the token, click on add funds, blue button at the bottom. Once you do this, MetaMask window will pop up. So you need to confirm the transaction over here. As you can see at the moment, uh, it will cost around $30 to send from layer one to layer two. Of course, this will vary depends on the gas cost on Ethereum mainnet. So it can be 15, it can be uh, $100. So let's hit confirm. And right now our transaction is being confirmed. So once it's confirmed, that means the first half of uh, this transaction is done. So as you can see, my transaction was just confirmed. Uh, there is a green check next to the deposit. And we just sent uh, 0 0.09 Ethereum to second layer. So let's click OK. And as you can see, my transaction is still being processed on layer 2. Because the first transaction was just confirmed on layer 1. Right now, it hit the bridge and it's being uh, confirmed on layer 2. So this may take another few minutes to be confirmed on layer 2. Once it's done, you will be able to transfer the funds, create NFTs, uh, trade on different exchanges on layer 2 ZK Sync. So now, as you can see, my transaction on layer 2 was uh, confirmed. I already have 0.09 Ethereum over here. So now let's start from the basics, which is sending our funds to another wallet. Uh, so let's click send. And... As soon as we do this, as you can see, there is a pop-up that says uh, authorized to sign account activation. So that means we need to activate our account on layer two. This is to prevent bots uh, from creating accounts. So once you do this, we hit sign. And right now we are signing the account activation. And then once it's done, we need to sign account activation one more time and this will activate our ZK Sync account. So let's click on this blue button. One more time, we need to confirm it in our MetaMask. 
and then we need to sign this transaction. This will register our ZK Sync uh, account. And right now our account was already activated. So right now we are already able to send crypto to another wallet. Uh, so let me show you how to do this. First of all, over here you need to just uh, paste the address where you would like to send and then below put the amount you would like to send. I'm just going to uh, write the amount below and maybe I will send 0 0.001 Ethereum. Uh, as you can see, the fee for sending will be around $1.35. So let's hit on send. And as soon as we do this, MetaMask window should pop up where we need to sign the transaction that we really want to send it to this wallet. And few seconds later, our transaction is already confirmed and we already transferred uh, 0 0.001 Ethereum to the wallet of our choosing. Uh, now, when this is uh, already done, let's move to the next thing we can do on layer 2, which is minting NFTs. Over here, you can see NFTs uh, tab, so let's click on it. And then over here, we can paste CID. If you don't know what CID is, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get it. So in order to mint NFTs, we need to paste CID over here. So let's go to pinata.cloud. You can create your free account over here, and this will allow us to mint NFTs. So once you log in, you will see something like this. And what you need to do over here is to click upload and then upload folder or file. Of course, in the folder or file, it has to be graphic files. So it can be PNG, JPEG, uh, GIF or whatever other graphic format you want. I would recommend PNG or JPEG. So upload it to your Pinata account. Uh, once you upload it, as you can see over here, I have a Moonbulls uh, folder over here. So I'm going to click on it. And then over here, I can see different files that are in the folder I uploaded, uh, which is abstract bool, burst bool, and so on and so on. And then on the right side over here, we see their CID. So I'm just going to click over here on the CID of uh, Space Cloud Bulls. And as soon as I do this, as you can see, the graphic file is being loaded. And our CID is visible over here as the last part of the address after IPFS slash. So let's copy all of it. And let's copy this last uh, part over here. So press Ctrl C after you select it. And this is our CID that we need to paste over here. So I'm going to paste it here. Once we do this, we can click Mint NFT. And once we click on Mint NFT, of course, we will have to confirm it in MetaMask. So as you can see, the MetaMask uh, window popped up. Let's sign it. And right now our NFT is being minted. Of course, minting NFT can take a few moments. Uh, usually it's around one to two minutes and then our NFT should be already minted. And as you can see, my NFT was already minted. Now we need to refresh this page. And once the page is refreshed, as you can see over here on the list, my NFT is minted. It's NFT 1688 and so on. And over here, we can see the content hash of this NFT. We can see the creator of this NFT, which is our own account. And then below, we can see status as not verified. This status means that it's not yet a verified NFT on Ethereum mainnet. The verification from layer 2 ZK Sync to Ethereum mainnet usually takes few hours up to eight hours. So don't worry. After 8 hours, it will be automatically verified on Ethereum mainnet as well, and your NFT will be already legit. Uh, so this is how you can uh, mint NFTs. You can, of course, transfer them, but for transferring, you need to wait for the NFT to be confirmed and verified. Uh, and now let's move to the next step, which is trading on Zake and Sync. On ZK Sync, there is an exchange called ZigZag. So you can go to trade.zigzag.exchange website. And then when you get here, you can connect your wallet. But have in mind that everything I'm showing in uh, videos, it's just for educational purposes. Uh, and it's all in alpha or beta version. So have in mind that it's risky. 
So don't use your main account. Don't use account with a lot of funds. Uh, maybe create an account especially for this. Try to put on this account some small amount of crypto and then test with a secure account just in case something goes wrong or in case there is some kind of error or bug. So that being said, we can connect our account to ZigZag. So I'm going to connect it right now. Uh, once we do this, we need to sign it. And as you can see over here, it says only sign this message if you trust this website. So remember one more time, only sign the messages if you trust the website you're using. So remember, there is always a risk when we are signing a message, if we are on a wrong website or if the website is some malicious client, etc, etc. So make sure to use it with some test account for security and safety purposes. So over here, let's click sign. As you can see, my account was already uh, connected. And now if we scroll down, we can see over here that I have 0.08 Ethereum on this account. I'm just going to type in the amount I would like to sell. So I'm going to type 0.004 Ethereum. I'm going to click sell. And then over here, we can sign the transaction. Once we submit the transaction below over here, you can see that so we are on Ethereum USDT market, the current price, the quantity we are trying to sell, are whether we're trying to sell or buy, and then order status. So as you can see, it's already filled. And as you can see over here, I already have $16. So right now, uh, I'm just going to quickly send another 0.004 Ethereum. I'm just going to sell it to USDT. Uh, as you can see, it was already sold. And now once I have 33 USDT, I'm going to buy back Ethereum. So of course, we're going to do it exactly the same. So let's over here choose how much Ethereum we want to sell. Let's click buy. Next, we need to confirm the transaction in MetaMask. As you can see, our transaction uh, is already added below over here and it was already filled. So as you can see, I have only 0.33 USDT left and then I have 0.084 Ethereum again. So this is how you can trade on second layer uh, on ZK Sync. This is how you can test it out. And maybe if you do that, maybe in the future you may get some airdrop from ZK Sync because ZK Sync doesn't have a token yet. So there is a high chance they are going to give an airdrop in the future. And that's it for today. Remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.